So I just got a question about how much torque I look for for implants in a full arch case. So if I'm placing implants full, for a full arch fixed case, how much torque do I look for? It depends, right? So if I'm placing implants and I don't intend to immediately load them, right? If I'm just placing them and putting a cover screw or a healing abutment, it doesn't really matter, right? Um, there's no real like number that you need to have for an implant. Uh, as far as primary, as far as um, insertion torque goes for the implant to work, right? You can have, a lot of people shoot for 35 Newton centimeters um, and, and that works. Obviously, you're going to get a, a very, uh, you're going to get an osseo integrated implant if you have 35 Newton centimeters. But even if you go as low as five or even lower, um, you can still have an integrated implant as long as your implant isn't moving, right? If there's no micro movement in your implant, then you will be solid. So it doesn't really matter if you're not going to be immediately loading them. Uh, where it does matter if you're trying to do implant placement and immediate load, so actually like attach a full arch um, prosthesis, if you're trying to attach like a full arch bridge at the same time of implant surgery, it does matter. You can't have really, really low insertion torque and load it and expect all of your implants to uh, to survive. Uh, at, le at least that's my opinion. Uh, there are people who try to see what's the lower bound for uh, insertion torque and getting immediate, immediate loads to work. But I prefer if it engages a little bit stronger, then um, it's less likely. It just kind of makes sense. It's less likely for there to be rocking or breaking or anything like that. So if you're trying to immediately load, I would say shoot for anywhere between 35 and 50 Newton centimeters per implant. Uh, I think that's a pretty safe zone, uh, safe insertion torque. If you're going more than 50, the, the trouble is sometimes if you're trying to go for a really high insertion torque, sometimes reps are like, yeah, you can get like an uh, insertion torque of 100. If you get a really high insertion torque, um, I mean, the mandibular bone is not very vascularized. Right, so you're placing an implant and causing all these cracks and pressure in an area that doesn't have that much blood supply. So I would advise uh, not going for the highest torque possible in areas like that. Right, so I think if you stick to the 35 to 50, you're going to be in a pretty safe zone for all of your surgeries. Um, lower than 35, um, sure you can still get away with it, but uh, you might get a little bit of movement, a little bit of rocking, and so if you stick to that range, I think you should be solid.